Hi, I'm Brad Sherwin, Technical Agronomy and Data Analytics Lead from Landis Cooperative, and welcome to the Agronomy Minute. Farming is all about risk and reward. Each year you invest money in rental land payments, seed, and herbicide, insecticide, fungicide, and fertilizers. Our job is to help you navigate all the decisions you need to make so you come out ahead financially. Now in today's episode, we're going to talk about applying falling hydrous ammonia in dry soils. Now in the inevitable rush to get fields prepped and fertilized, some growers might be tempted to push falling hydrous applications as early as possible. Today, we're at our Farnhamville research plot, and we thought it would be a great opportunity to not only calibrate our custom anhydrous applicator, but to also test whether or not the field is fit for anhydrous application. Keep in mind, it's 41 degrees out, and the soil temperature is in the mid to low 40s. Now, as far as a safe time to apply anhydrous and avoid losing ammonia from volatilization, well, there really isn't one. Here are five tips to think about. Number one, soil moisture. Keep in mind, the word anhydrous means without water. Anhydrous ammonia must have soil moisture to attach to after application. Anhydrous ammonia injected into soils that are too dry will diffuse up through the profile too quickly and will be lost especially if a knife track doesn't seal properly. Number two, injection depth. Injection depth is key to avoiding anhydrous ammonia loss. High concentrations of ammonia exist about three to four inches from the point of injection. Placing the ammonia at depths of seven to 10 inches will reduce the chances of ammonia loss, but make sure to adjust the toolbar properly to avoid shallow application of the anhydrous ammonia. Number three, application angle. Many anhydrous applications are made at an angle so that the corn rows don't overlap with the injection sites to minimize the risk of ammonia burn, which is still a good option. And with GPS on most equipment, a precise offset can also be achieved. Number four, visual inspection. Be sure to stop and check that the track is sealing properly. When ammonia reacts with the air, it will form a cloud, also known as smoke, along with a distinct odor and you don't want to see or smell ammonia to any extent. Number five, plant adjustments. Between the dry fall and recent anhydrous cost and availability issues, be sure to have an alternative nitrogen plan in place. If the soil is not fit for application, you really want to be prepared, which means you might have to adjust your plan, such as reducing your anhydrous application rate to maybe half, with the plan to follow up with a side dress application of nitrogen or switch to an alternative nitrogen source, such as urea or UAN. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for taking time to watch our video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when we post our next video. And lastly, hit that thumbs up so we can bring you more agronomic content. We really appreciate it.